How's it going? So in this one, I wanted to show you how you can use your e-bike battery as emergency backup power. So what you got here, it's got one of these step-down converters here. 360 watts. This one specifically is 48 volt. And then I got it hooked up to this 110 inverter. I believe that's a 200 watt. So with this one, I can do it with this battery right here, 48 volt, 20 amp hour. My Super 73 battery, 48 volt. But this one won't be able to do my 52 volt battery, my 72 volt battery, or my Telaria 60 volt battery. But they do make, they have this one right here that works from 90 volts to 40 volts. So this one will work with all the battery ranges it's only 240 watts. But you can, of course you can buy ones that are up to 1,000 watts, 1,500 watts. But for me, all I need is that. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so I went and hooked it up. You see it's running. You just click on. You can see, starting to draw some power. And right now I've hooked up to my TV. So let's turn on the TV. Let's take a look. You can see right there, 130 watts. So you can run small stuff on this, like say if you need to run, if you want to run a TV, you know, charge your cell phones, laptops, stuff like that. If you want to run your router, because a lot of times you'll still have internet, you just don't have power to your router. So then another thing I wanted to show you is you can actually recharge this pack while you're running stuff. You just need to get one of these right here. And I have it hooked up to an 80 watt energy panel right there. I'll show you. Let me plug that in. So just plug that in to the charge port of the BMS. You can see right here. Then you just set the voltage you want it to be at, charge voltage. You can see right there, 2.7 amps coming in and almost an amp going back into the battery. And the TV is on. So now if you wanna do it with these style batteries, you just need to get the mount. They sell these all over eBay, Amazon. So let me show you running off my uh, Super 73 ZX battery. All right, so now I have it all connected to the ZX battery. Look here, got the mount off Amazon, put the connectors that need it on it. And you just turn on the battery. There it goes. Flip this around the other way see it maybe I don't just turn it this way then you just same thing turn on the inverter and TV on So like I said, this one right here will only run on 48 volts. But let me go ahead and plug in the other one I have so I can show you it on the other battery types. Okay, I have it hooked up to the 52 volt battery. I could, you can use the same mount as you do for the ZX. 
Let me see. There's the voltage. Now let's kick on. Now let's turn on the TV. Let's see. Now let me go ahead and switch over to the big 72 volt 30 amp hour pack I have here. Let me go ahead and turn the inverter on. Show you guys. It's working. TV on. There it goes. Let's see. All right, so with this one, you can see you can go all the way from 72 volts all the way down to 48 volts. Now, I don't have the connector for my Telaria battery, so I'm not going to be able to test that. But it's a 60-volt pack, so that's right in between 48 and uh, 72 volts. So that will work as well as soon as you get the correct connector. So your Suron battery, your Telaria battery can be used in this. And of course, you can get a much bigger, you can do probably 1,000 watts continuous out of any one of these packs. Although they won't last very long, but you can put a load on them like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add the links down below to this, this step-down converter, a small 110 converter, and I'll also do a bigger system. I'll also leave links to a bigger system with, say, like a 700-watt inverter, 1,000-watt inverter with a 1,000-watt capable step-down converter. So that's all I got for this one.